Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page and basically just because I had leftovers on my table, I've got this, uh, this is uh, the white layer from a paper napkin that I just sprayed with uh, my uh, homemade sprays that are made from water and gel food uh, coloring. Uh, so I had this on my table and leftover piece from another napkin and it just looked to me like they should be together so I decided that I need to do something about it so first of all I'm going to glue down uh, this piece to my page and I'll try to do it as fast as I can because it's just boring there is nothing interesting in it I'm using a plain white glue. Here we go. Now for starters, these two layers uh, of the paper napkins are just boring. There is nothing special to it, but I do have an a technique that I want to show you after these two layers are in place and dry so there is something new to this page well, so next in line I've got this paper napkin and let's just trim a little bit until this is dry and I can do it justice just so it won't get in the way and I want to take a little bit of uh, the white here from the, this paper napkin so I'm taking a, a very thin a brush dipping it with water and just removing the pieces that I don't need not trying to be exact just trimming excess that I don't need or want here we go so let's see maybe like this yeah like so so again putting down glue and when you are doing a uh, working on paper nap gluing paper napkins use the flat of the brush and slide it don't drag it so it won't tear i think i've got a lot of glue right now and here we go now on top of everything to seal it down and to smooth everything and by smoothing i'm not uh, referring to get rid of the wrinkles i like the wrinkles just so i won't have air bubbles underneath the uh, paper napkin layers here we go everything is going to get sealed with a layer of glue so this is it for now uh, it will take quite some time to dry all this uh, glue and I'll be back when it's dry and we'll continue I'm back so this is a uh, dry and I want some a uh, light a uh, yellow circles in my background like there is some kind of I don't know sun particles floating around and I'm just going to this is deco art luscious lemon and a makeup sponge and I'm just going to dab all around my background I don't want it to pop I just want to add something uh, some circles it doesn't have to be a an exact print it just need to add something <laughs> I hope I'm explaining myself here we go I need more paint
Yep. Continuing. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Just very light yellow uh, circles, yellow dots, for that matter, on my background. More to the sky than anything else, but all the same. is it uh, for now with this stencil and I still want more circles this time really circles and not dots and I've got these ones that I made from uh, oh, I forgot the name this rubber thingy uh, don't remember it's from the hardware store and let's see I'm I've taken the quad a uh, golden road and I want some circles in the background so let's see which one do I take let's start with this big one very summery we are in we are supposed to be in the middle of winter but the sun is shining and so I'm doing summer here we go now I'm thinking some a uh, smaller ones, some smaller circle just uh, for the variation and let's see That's it. Enough with this and now I need for all of this to dry before I'm continuing and then I want to show you the stenciling technique that I wanted to show you. <laughs> so I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, I'm back. So now I want to show you this technique with the stencil and it came to be by accident. I had ex uh, leftover paint and this, this stencil was already out and I wanted to use the paint. So of course I took my notebook for uh, excess paint and just started dabbing away the leftover paint and as it... Uh, there was less and less on my makeup sponge uh, this came to be the faded uh, look and I really liked it so I said I need to try it again so I tried it again and I made it this in another art journal I have this is in a book and as you can see uh, this is how it looks when it fades into it also frames uh, the page and the fading is really nice so I just had to 
uh, keep trying. So I've got the same uh, stencil again. This is from a stencil from Stamperia, but I don't know if it has a name. I can't see any on the packaging. Uh, nonetheless, so I'm going to do the same technique here so you can see what I'm talking about. And let's see, maybe I'll put masking tape just to flatten everything. And so it will be easier to work on. And so nothing will move. It doesn't really stick so we we'll work with what we have again I'm taking a makeup sponge and I've got here a turquoise acrylic paint this is from a crimson it says bright blue whatever it looks to me like turquoise I'm uh, taking a little bit of paint and starting of course from the edges And as I'm uh, losing a uh, paint, I'm getting into the inside. So I will have the faded look. So again, I'm doing the edges first and then going inside. And I can also pick one or two and do a faded flowers in the background. I'm continuing uh, with the edges. The edges uh, are going to be a uh, crisp and sharp. Uh, and then as they are getting in, I want it faded. And I'm pushing very hard towards the stencil and uh, my paper and when I, I want to get in I'm dabbing very very lightly so to get the effect of the faded stencil let's see maybe a little bit more here here we go that's how it looks and I really like it so I'm going to continue I don't need the masking tape, it doesn't work. And again, placing my stencil. I'll do first the edges. getting in lightly with the sponge and I don't really have a lot of paint on it so that's how it works uh -huh. okay Now that I've done the edges again, I'm going inside and dabbing lightly. Yeah, here we go. Framing my page and doing this faded uh, towards the center when I'm getting in. So that's the technique I really wanted to show you. And of course it doesn't have to be to frame the page you can uh, just uh, play with it like i did I, i've done here i've done 
this corner and this corner and then fade it in uh, towards the center so now I'm going to wait for this to dry and before I continue I'll be back I'm back so I've got this uh, stamp set with I think this is called dandelion I hope I'm right and I really want this one here this is my focal image so I took a this stamp and stamped it on a white layer of a paper napkin here we go this is the and the writing that i had beneath here i'm hoping that uh, if i'll uh, first of all it made a fine print crisp print on the white layer of the paper napkin and now i'm going to take this shape out and glue it down and i hope it will blend with the background so and then i don't have to worry about texture that i already have on a page and the print won't the, the print won't be crisp because i have got texture underneath so i'm just going to take this shape out again with a very uh, thin paintbrush so here we go this and the writing also I'm going to take it out I hope you can see what I'm doing tracing around it the stem of the dandelion I'll just uh, do it freehand with a permanent marker and we'll see how we get along I don't even know what it says here I didn't try uh, to read it I'm not sure if it's uh, English or French I think French whatever it, it's more for the decoration than anything else I'm thinking it needs to go something like that and this is here I'll wait with this I'm not sure about it so first of all I'm going to glue down my uh, dandelion and I really like that it's black in all this uh, colorful page. I do like contrasts. I'm lazy, I'm putting down glue with my finger. and it seems to be working it does fade into the background as if i stamped it directly on my page so it worked smoothing it very very gently here we go so now I want some more stamping with black in the background. I've got, uh, let's see, it's from the same stamp set, so just putting it randomly, and I'm not even looking for a fine print. Also, uh, the look that it's faded, it looks like they are much more in the background. And again, it's something that will give more dimensionality to your page. Mostly I went one way, but just for added interest, I stamped a few, uh, not in the same uh, direction. Now I'm thinking maybe I will add this or part of it. This is too much. Uh, I'll take part of it. Here we go.
Yeah. So. Again, some glue. Making it fade into the background. Okay, so now I only got a, I only need to wait for this to dry so I can uh, do the stem of the dandelion. And this is it for my page. I'll be back uh, when it's done. I'm back so everything is dry I just made a stem with a permanent marker and I really hope you can see all the details in the background and I really like the outcome of this page it really is sunny and I like it so this is it for uh, this video I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now